Hi good morning. The next layer is network layer. The network layer is responsible for routing through an internet work and for networking addressing. This means that the network layer is responsible for transporting traffic between devices that are directly connected or not directly connected. Routers or other layer 3 devices are specified at the network layer and provide routing services in an internet work. The network layer has four basic processes to perform. IP addressing, encapsulation, routing, and decapsulation. Let's understand what is IP addressing. Assume we have a server and client connected in the network. The client wants to download something from the server. In this case, the client must be aware about server identity and server must be aware about the client identity. In the computer network world, the identity is specified by using IP addresses. Once we assign the identity or IP address to the server and the client, the device is ready to communicate in the network. When a client wants to communicate with the server, it uses its own IP address in the source field and server IP address in the destination field. Exactly similar method applies when the server communicates to the client. The server uses its own IP address in the source field and client IP address in the destination field. Now let's understand what is encapsulation and decapsulation. It is the same like when you deliver something to someone, you must wrap the parcel and paste a label on the box with some information like name, address, and brand tag. Similar to this, when a network layer receives a segment from the upper layer, it encapsulates the segment with some information and hand over this packet to the data link layer. Don't worry, I will cover the IP header in a separate video. This method is generally called encapsulation. Decapsulation means when the network layer receives the data from the data link layer and it decapsulates to read the packet details. Post decapsulation, the network layer takes decisions. If the destination IP address is correct or does not belong to the device, the segment is passed up to the appropriate service at the transport layer. If the destination IP address does not belong to the device, it discards the IP packet. Now let's understand what is routing. Networking devices that make best path decisions based on layer 3 destination IP address. It is not the end of the routing. We have a lot more information about routing, and we will cover all the aspects of routing in later videos. As of now, don't think much, we will cover everything step by step. Let's move ahead for data link layer. The data link layer provides a means for exchanging data over a common local media. Data link layer protocols govern how to format a frame for use on different media. Different protocols may be in use for different media. Data link layer connects the network layer with the physical layer. The data link layer performs two basic services. First, it allows the upper layers to access the media using techniques such as framing. Second, it controls how data is placed onto the media and is received from the media. The data link layer prepares a packet for transport across the local media by encapsulating it with a header and a trailer to create a frame. The data link layer frame includes First, header. It has control information, such as addressing. Second, data. It has IP packet and other layer 3 information. Third, trailer. It also has control information, such as error detection. Data link layer has two sub-layers. First, logical link control, or LLC. Second, media access control, or MAC. Let's understand more logical link control or llc this sublayer is responsible for identifying network layer protocols and then encapsulating them when they are about to be transmitted onto the network or decapsulating them when it receives a packet from the network and passes it onto the layer above it which is the network layer an llc header tells the data link layer what to do with a packet once a frame is received for example a host will receive a frame and then look in the LLC header to understand that the packet is destined for the IP protocol at the network layer. The LLC can also provide flow control and sequencing of control bits. Next one is Media Access Control, or MAC. 
Media access process is performed by the hardware. It provides data link layer addressing and framing of the data according to the protocol in use. Ethernet media access is a first-come first-served access method used where everyone shares the same bandwidth. Throughout the course, you will come across two addressing terms. Logical addressing and physical addressing. The logical addressing is basically the address which is given by software like an IP address. When you get an IP address, this is considered as a logical address which is provided to you after your TCP IP stack is loaded. Physical addressing is an address which pre-programmed to the hardware. Every network card has a MAC address which is burnt into the network card, and this special address is used to uniquely identify your computer from all the others on the network. Let's move to the physical layer. The physical layer is responsible for the movement of individual bits from one hop to the next hop, or one node to the next node. If I tell you in layman language, when you transmit something from one end to another end, the data transmission happens in binary form at the physical layer. As you can see in the picture, the data is transmitted in a form of binary, 0, or 1. The media or equipment comes under this layer, RJ45 connector, or network interface card, copper cable, and optical cables. That's it. There is no